I think I'm bad as hell. I got his shoes out of line. Saying tomorrow I do the dishes, never come. Easy bake, easy wake up on. Just give as much as you take, forgive as much as you wait, or get the fuck out. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing how I went from dusty feet, please don't bother me, to a bad thing, then just stay tuned. So I'm going to be starting off with parting my hair just in a sloppy way and going and combing it out, making sure I get all the kinks out of it. And I use the wire tooth comb. And the next thing I'm going to do is take this clip and this heat protecting spray. And I'm going to take my curling iron and just basically curl my hair um, just in an upward motion. And uh, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Then I'm going to take it down and with my fingers, pin curl my hair and then just pin it with a bobby pin. Pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go and repeat those same steps in the very front of my hair. And you can actually see the better version of me doing it in the front versus the back. I didn't think about that when I was on um, recording. But yeah, this is how I get my big bouncy curls. Pretty simple, I feel like anybody, cause I'm not a stylist at all. My mom and my sister is, but they didn't give me that trait. <laughs> uh, so I can do this, uh, basic things to my hair. And this is just my hair at its natural state. I did get my relaxer though, you guys. I don't know if I updated you guys with that. So yeah, I did get my relaxer. And I'm gonna take this Tresemme hairspray and to hold all that in. And now I'm gonna move on to my edges. Not my baby hairs, but my edges. Cause I don't got no baby hair. So basically what I do is comb it out, put some water on it, put this 24 hour tame on it, and it's like edge control. And then this two way comb brush is like the best thing for this. Cause basically what I do is just use the comb in to put out my little waves. And then I'm gonna flip it and take the brush and actually make them stay there. I, I'm trying to explain this, but you guys can see it better than me explaining it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna take those same steps and apply it to the front little edges that I got going on there. I saw Lyra do this, so I just started doing it, you know what I'm saying? And by the way, I don't have her um, edge control yet, but I gotta get it. So anyway, <laughs> now I'm gonna just be doing those same steps on the side, minus the little waves, cause girl, my hair gonna be down on this side, so you know, the people can't see it. <laughs> So next taking this e.l.f. brow gel, I'm going to be applying that to my brows and as always I did those off camera. And up next I'm going to be taking this Nutmeg NYX concealer and applying that to my lids. And taking this really cool Real Techniques concealer brush and just blending that concealer out. And then next I will be setting that with my of course Black Opal setting powder. And I'm going to be just applying that to the lid area and getting that all set it up. Now, I'm gonna be taking these e.l.f. drops that I just got. You guys, these, I've had them for like a month and I love them, especially right now, cause as you can see with the colder temperatures, um, not only has my skin color dropped a bit, but my skin is a bit drier. So these Hydrate and Boost are so good right now, you guys. They're only $10. I definitely recommend them. Like I said, I've been using them for a month and if you're looking for a really good serum or drop for your skin, that is the go-to. So now I'm taking this Maybelline Baby Pore Primer and I'm going to be putting that in all the places that my pores are ridiculous. And taking this lovely Smashbox Primer and putting it all in my problem areas, which is on my uh, lower chin and on my cheeks. And now I'm going to be taking this orange concealer in the NYX palette that I love and adore. And I'm putting it all on the areas where I suffer from hyperpigmentation or anywhere that my skin is a little bit darker than the rest. So just clearing that all up. And then I'm going to be just blending that all into my skin.
Now I'm moving on to foundation, taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte in the shade 355 Coconut and this Elf Flat Top Brush. I'm going to be just applying that all over my face. As I stated earlier, you know, in the, in the colder weather, your skin tone changes. So this shade actually matches me way better than in the summertime because in the summertime, I got hooked on the CoverGirl True Blend Me. It was absolutely amazing foundation, but glad I still got this to work with in the summertime like y'all it sucks that we gotta change shades like you know how much money that is thank god we got drugstore foundations like it's it's ridiculous but anyway girl let me get this foundation in my skin now i'm gonna move on to highlighting and i'm gonna be taking my favorite concealers at the moment which is the makeup revolution concealers in the shade c12 first and then c13 this way it gives me like a really not too over the top highlight and i'm gonna spray my face because this can get very sticky i'm gonna be going in with this new method that i saw an actual makeup artist do she blends out her under eye, under eye highlight with a actual concealer brush and then she goes over that with a sponge and it just gives her a better coverage for her under eye and i have bags <laughs> so this full coverage concealer actually helps them to not look so baggy and this new method really helps with coverage as well so if you already don't do this in your routine i'll just say give it a try out and let me know how it works for you So now I'm going to be setting my face, of course, with the Black Opal Setting Powder. Next step that I will be doing is cream contouring, and I will be cream contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette. I absolutely love this palette, you guys, especially in the wintertime. I actually have the opportunity to cream contour, and I'm just going to be, of course, applying that with my concealer brush. And I'll be placing that cream contour in every place that I need to snatch up. First, I'm going to be taking this flat top brush just to begin the first stages of putting out this cream contour. Uh, I don't like often working with cream contour just because of how much like work it takes. Like I'd rather just bronze up my face. So now you see me moving on to the stippling brush and I have this e.l.f. stippling brush. This makes blending out cream contour for me so much easier. And it helps it to just not look as muddy and you know all too much <laughs> so now i'm going to be removing that setting powder of course taking some nyx powder on top of it and i'm going to now move on to the ebony bronzer setting everywhere that i cream contoured and you know just trying to get my face all snatched up Itty. <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning up that uh, cream contour on the side of my face using the black opal and then removing it with the NYX. And now I'm going to be setting my face with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. And now you see me applying a little bit of blush. Gotta have the rosy cheeks. Now I'm adding the wing eyeliner as well as the lashes. Moving on to using this NYX Cafe Lip Liner. It is my favorite. And now you guys, I'm using some Love Cree in the shade Exposed. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to give you guys the review of all these amazing matte lipsticks now i'm gonna be taking the anastasia beverly oh i'm getting boozy i'm getting boozy in this little world this abh come from where did it come from <laughs> and now for a pop i'm using love creed's afterglow lip gloss and it on top and now that my makeup is complete i'll be moving on to my hair yeah edges <laughs> all right they do you feel me <laughs> i'm gonna be taking all my bobby pins out and then the next step that I basically do once I get it all down is just taking the curls out with my hands. You don't want to leave them in the stage that they in right now because you're going to look like you're 76. Like, why don't you put your fingers through those curls? <laughs> Make them pop. Yes! Hair shining. It was looking all dull earlier. So now I'm going to take this comb and just, you know, get all my hair straight. Oh, Bianca, girl, you look like somebody, sis. Now you look like yourself, girl. Add some earrings because you ain't popping yet. There you go. Okay. Finished look. You know what I'm saying? Come through. B, it's the girl. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to take you guys to this outfit. Okay, ladies and gents. I'm just giving you guys a little casual slay here. I got this skirt from Forever 21. The top, Rev Dolls. The Duster, Pretty Little Things. And the boots, Rule 21. 
So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you follow me on all my social media handles. And as always, sis, if you like the vibes, you might as well subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.